Hey everybody, Andy Trout from TakePermission.com with a tour of my webinar setup. So here we are. First, if you'll notice, I've got light out here. Always try to get natural light from my camera. So here's my Logitech. I believe it's a C920. Great little camera. Uh, just just really, really good quality. It does have, does have a mic in it as well. But I don't use that mic for my webinar. But I put it just right here on top of my monitor, as you can see here. It's clipped on the back there. And uh, you definitely want to keep that right at eye level if you possibly can. So that's mine. Mine's a little bit low, but still pretty good. So there's my light source, generally. Behind me, I try to keep it as simple as I can. So it's not too distracting. People wouldn't see that. They sort of see this. That window can give off a little too much light sometimes, but usually not too bad. Just try to keep the blinds going this way, not this way, because they actually usually give more light going that way. So I have that trying to go up like that. So there's my background. I do like to have a little bit of stuff in the background so it's not totally boring. Usually we'd have that door shut. And so that's the view that the viewer would see. And then I've got my Heil PR40 microphone which is total overkill, you don't need to do that at all. It's like a $300 mic, uh, a little foamy here, and a shock mount, and an arm, which I love. And I like to keep that, I don't know if you see that, about, about that far. So I don't mind people seeing the mic, but I don't want them to, you know, I'm gonna block in my face. So there's the microphone. And uh, then we've got the two monitors from running from a Mac Mini. So uh, main monitor is on Evernote here. And Evernote is, that's my air conditioning just kicked on. Uh, Evernote is running in presentation mode. So I'll hit escape and uh, let's go over here. I hit escape and see what that looks like. So there's what it looks like. Then I just hit command enter and it goes into presentation mode. And then I can just scroll through like that. So I wanna know uh, what they're seeing when I do my screen share. So that's it right there. And I got my notes right here on uh, MacBook Pro, on a little stand here. Uh, obviously you could do that on another screen if you wanted to, or an iPad, but I like to have it so it's right below. So as I'm reading, watching, I can look right below. It'd actually be better if it was up here, but I just don't have the hardware for that right now. Over here, I've got the chat right here for the webinar. We've got a uh, Google Live uh, Hangout YouTube Live actually it's going to be by the time you see this because they're switching it from Google Hangouts to YouTube Live uh, and so I've got the video embedded there and then I've got the chat there and then instructions on reloading the page and so on and so forth and what time we start so that's one quarter of the window over here I've got my notes just in case I want to glance at those as well over here I've got Slack open with uh, my friend Matt who helps me run the webinars and right here is where I would have the Google Hangout, YouTube Live Hangout uh, window for controlling things if I wanna switch my screen share, things like that. So that's my setup for my webinars when I am teaching. And if you have any other questions, let me know. These are held up by a single arm, as you can see there. Right there, mounted to my desk. I think I've covered everything else. Uh, I do have these headphones, but they look kind of ridiculous. So I actually go through my mixer and then I have just this one little earbud and so it doesn't look too ridiculous. So there is my webinar setup. Also at a standing desk, as you can see, it was kind of a uh, hip height or a little lower, lower height, but I added these bed risers. Uh, you get those for about 20 bucks at Bed Bath & Beyond. And I've got a mat for my feet and a mute button if I need it, which I usually don't. And uh, there it is. If you have any questions about my setup, let me know. This is Andy Trout from TakePermission.com. Thanks.